Well, Kara, did you know that I'm on the cover of a magazine? Fancy, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Connecticut Voice. Look at this Connecticut Voice is uh, for the LGBTQ community in Connecticut. Although anybody can read it and joining us now to talk about why they wanted to feature me, I still am wondering why, is James Tully, the owner and publisher of the magazine. James, nice to see you. How hi, are you? Hi, James. Nice to see you, Scott and Kara. How are you? And Scott, I have the answer to your question. What is it? <laughs> so when, when I was on Better Connecticut about a year and a half ago, Introducing the premiere mag, premiere edition of, of Connecticut Voice. Kara was talking to me a little bit, asking a couple of questions, and you sat down and you were just you were looking through the magazine. And about halfway through our segment, you looked up at me and said, "Hey Jim, why the heck aren't I on the cover?" <laughs> well, you are now. So that's the story behind that. I don't remember saying that, but that's <laughs> funny. I do. Well, tell us I do. About, tell us about uh, the what the voice is and how it serves the community. Sure. So Connecticut Voice will be celebrating its second year on uh, spring of 2021. And really what we want to do is become the hub of the LGBT community um, in Connecticut. There really wasn't a magazine at all that was filling that need. I got connected with a number of very, a lot of different people in the LGBT community, including the LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce. And they said, hey, you're the magazine guy because you do seasons. Would you consider something? And I said, absolutely. So um, we're thrilled to be able to bring Connecticut Voice to the LGBT community and to the community at large with what we do. It's four times a year, Kara. It's free. People can sign up online okay. at ctvoice.com. And um, we're thrilled. We, just, we try to take what we do with Seasons, which is to tell a story. What's going on behind? And one of the people we want to reach out to, obviously, was Scott. And Scott was so forthcoming in his article, and I highly encourage everybody so please read the article. You can go online now and read it. Um, Scott, you were great, so thank you for that. I appreciate well, it. Well, and my mother, she looked at me and she goes, well, that was honest. You know, <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, Ma, you got to be honest when they ask you a question. Yeah, and it was written, we should say, by Kara Rosner. So give us a little idea of what you, it says Scott Haney gets real. What do you reveal? Give us a little tease. Well, you know, they, Jim, they went through, uh, you know, from A to Z, my relationships, uh, my, my, the positive, uh, some of the really good things that happened in my life, some of the not so good things that happened in my life. And uh, Kara really did a great job. She took a, she took a lot of time. She, she went in depth. And Todd Fairchild, who did the photography, you know, we, you know, we had to do this amidst COVID. So we went to Elizabeth Park. And, you know, but we have pictures of Paul in there. That's my nephew, Jonathan. Uh, I got big yeah. hair in some of the photos. You can see me back. <laughs> we noticed that. Yeah, the hair is bigger than anything. And uh, <laughs> my Denny Terrio, but it was a really thought, a really thoughtful article. I love the way that you guys went about doing it. Well, we appreciate that, but it really is all about you and what you were willing to discuss and so forth. And, you know, Scott, rereading the article, a couple of things popped out. Um, one of them was your first ally was your mother and yeah. the strong love you had for your mother when she, when she supported you right away, which Absolutely. was great. Yep. One of the other things that you talked about was, you know, you don't really know everybody and certainly, you know, you're on every morning and you do so many wonderful things in the community, but sometimes it's hard to be, your term was on all the time. Yeah. And that was a very interesting piece. So I think you were very forthcoming and honest. And I think, you know, our readers and for folks that are just Scott Haney fans would love to read it. So please do. It's, it was wonderful. And Thank the, you. The, the number one question I get, Jim, is if it doesn't come to my house, where do I get the magazine? How do I get the magazine? It's very yeah, it's very simple. All they have to do is sign up online. They can go to ctvoice.com and they can register. Just put in your information and you'll receive it free. That's it. It's that's as simple it. as it's that. That's it. It's free. Just it's, register and it comes. That's wonderful. Yeah. I love that. Well, I, I got, I have several copies, Kara, if you want one. I, I would like one. <laughs> I asked for one this morning. He thinks it was in his car or somewhere. I, I didn't get to read it yet. <laughs> Kara, don't let him charge you for it. It's free. He may yeah, try to charge no, it. So Jim, I was, I was six ninety nine at least for the cover of the book. Uh, at least. So, at uh, least. What's coming up next? What, what are you going to be featuring next? Well, there's a, there's a couple of different things. So first of all, we've evolved and we've scaled. So we have a TV show, which Scott was kind to be part of. And you can go to ctvoice.com. You can watch the show on there. It's called CT Voice. We shorten it. It's Connecticut Voice Out Loud. So please go on there. We try to bring the magazine to life, which is very, very cool. So you can see it. Our next edition will be out in November. And our real focus is about the family. We wanted to talk about the family, not only during the holidays, but throughout the course of the year. So LGBTQ families, we've got so many submissions and we have great stories. So we're thrilled to center the, the November, December issue all around the family. So 
All we, right. we, we're just thrilled to be able to do what we do. And, um, and the feedback from the community, from the LGBT community has been just great. And they give us a great direction and yeah. some story ideas and we listen. Thank, and you, very good at listening. Thank you. 